What's up nerds, I'm the Renegade Cactus, but you can call me whatever you want. Welcome back to Digimon Survive. How about you? Like and subscribe. The reason why we are here on the title screen is because I wanted to show you that here everyone we already met or who we are with basically is now on the loading screen. In the beginning it was just uh Takeru? I don't know what the main character is called, I forgot. Uh him and Agumon. And now it's everyone else. And we are still missing Shuji, uh, Sai... Saika? Something like that. You know, the girl. <laughs> and Miyuki, I wanna say yes, Miyuki. And her brother, that Kaito, Kaito. That much I remember. I mean, I should remember because <laughs> I've played all four previous episodes today. And I'm just here to play another one because I just... First of all, pre-recording because I'm about to leave the country for a few days. But also because it's just so damn good and it looks so damn great. Right now, we should think about keeping everyone safe. Takuma, that's what he's called. Let's start with how to protect ourselves. Others like the Kugumon could attack again. Yeah, there are other dangerous ones. We need somewhere to rest quietly. The school would have been perfect, but... There's a need to figure out food and shelter while we wait for the professor. Uh, Takuma, you okay? I'm not coming up with anything. Let's ask everyone. You got it. Let's do that. Sure thing. Uh, morning, Minoru. Back at you, Takuma. So it wasn't a dream, huh? Looks like it. I figured I'd wake up by now. We slept like babies after everything yesterday. Tell me about it. What a day. Man, looking around again in the daylight, this place definitely seen better days. We fought against monsters yesterday. Tell me about it! Indeed. This is real. Good morning, Takuma. Minoru. Hey, Aoi. Morning. And I know it's Takuma, I'm sorry. I, I I mispronounce sometimes because it's easier for the flow. Good morning, Aoi. Did you sleep well? I did. Still a little tired, but my head has finally cleared. That's good to hear. Yeah. Hey, Ryo, you sleepy head? Shut up. How am I supposed to sleep? You were all out like lights. How could you even sleep after all this? Well, you were in the classroom that whole time and kept fainting. Say that again. Now that everyone's awake, we should put our heads together and think about the next step. Yeah, with everything that went on yesterday, we were too tired to do anything but sleep. Hey, wait. Who died and made you the boss, Takuma? Yeah, what he said. Why are you taking his side, Agumon? This sort of thing is better left to the older kids. Aoi, Ryu, you're up. Yeah, Ryu's sure. You treat me with respect now of all times? I mean, to be honest, I... I ain't gonna make any difference, is it? It, whatever. That's Ryu for you. I guess last night's events didn't help. I ain't got the time or inclination to lead you losers around. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. Guess that leaves you, Aoi. I'm afraid I also lack what it takes to be a leader. But you're so serious. What does that have to do with anything? But Aoi, you're not just serious, you're also nice. You'd be a great leader. You overestimate me. Even now I'm full of anxiety. Seriously, what is going on? Think about it. A group of children went missing overnight. You would expect this to cause a major uproar, and yet... Oh, I get what you're saying. You'd expect them to send out a helicopter or something. It's already morning, but there's no sign of a search party. This is just too strange. We're not stuck off on some mountain or something. We're in a school. Ain't it weird there's nobody else around, though. Everyone else has disappeared. I mean, true. You could you could see it, look at it that way. Not making me feel any better. Just telling it like it is, right? Look, even our phones are out of service. The heck? Did the world just end or something? If that ain't the case, then stick a fork in us, because we're done. You think some disaster occurred? It would explain why they ain't looking for lost kids. Stop it, I'm begging you. I'm just saying, look around. 
weren't out that long, and the school's all messed up. The whole landscape changed too. Stuff like this doesn't exactly happen every day. Maybe we ended up in some parallel world, or like travel through time? Or maybe someone fired off some super weapon that could explain the school and everything? Wait, that can't be it. This place looks more run down than blown up, you know? Man, it's all so cool, don't you think? Were you listening at all? Is your brain broken or something? I'm actually agreeing with Ryu. And what were those creatures last night? I hate to say it, but they kind of reminded me of these little guys, don't you think? Of, of us. All we can say for sure is that everyone's gone and the school, the school building's in ruins. The area around here is completely different for some reason. And the fog all around here makes it impossible to figure out what's going on. The fog is apparently too dangerous to touch. Not apparently, it's really dangerous. So you say, let's top it all off, those weird things are crawling around out there. Where's a weird thing? Well, then what are you exactly? We're us, and they're them. That doesn't explain anything. That's right, I can't explain anything. But yeah, just because they are different than you doesn't mean that they are weird, you... Whatever. <laughs> then why are you talking so confidently? Falcomon, what do you think? Me? Yes, you. <laughs> Seriously, we're not getting anywhere over here. Very well. Let's see. I can say that we have no doubts about our own existence. Still, it's clear that our world is separate from the world of you humans. So, this really is a parallel world? I'm not sure what you mean. I admit that our situation is weird, but we can't be sure that this is a different world. If this is a different world, then where did this human building come from? Well, that's... Hmm. Maybe the buildings got transported too? Then wouldn't the school be in the same condition instead of falling apart? Looks like the building where we set up camp, but I think this one is different. This is a mystery to me too. The hills and trees, rocks, ocean and rivers. Unlike these natural formations, the buildings just suddenly appeared one day. So I heard. Heard? From who? And how? I'm not sure. Perhaps it was some divine being or one of my brethren with such power. I cannot say for sure. The residents of this world possess various powers and forms. Entities of terrible strength. Some weak and frail, capable beings, helpless creatures. So you're saying one of your kind could have made this? One could have built it to resemble a human building or transported it from our world. I do not know. God damn motorcycles! All I can say is that there is much variation among those who live here. Some are capable of speech and compromise, others are frenzied and incapable of either. What's more, humans are considered nothing more than fairy tales among our kind. In truth, you're the first I've ever met. And yet, it has been said that actually human children would appear capable of drawing out our true power. Oh, that sounds like... Yeah, the story of the Kemonogami. Could this be the truth behind those stories? That might explain the transformation of Agumon as he fought the Kugumon. I really like that in this game, the Digimon don't know about everything in the digital world. Because in the anime, it's always like, what are you? We're Digimon. We form bonds with you humans because we are digital beings, kinda, and also we can digivolve and that makes us stronger and stuff like that. And here it's like, I don't know what the hell happened to me, but that was awesome. <laughs> Why did Agamon suddenly change shape and power up like that? Beats me. Mm, maybe an external force, contact with humans, triggered a sudden mutation? Selective mutation, a sort of instant, instinctive evolution. It's amazing. <laughs> yeah, I'm amazing, I guess. Hmm. This is only natural for us. It's never struck me as anything special. Of course, there may be more to our evolution, and we don't know how children are involved. Some of our kind would use such power to destroy the world, others to save it. <laughs> others battle with Pokemon and make them their pets. <laughs> Wait, whatever. Others would take human children, and uh, perhaps we should avoid such subjects. For now, this is all I can tell you about our existence. I'm ashamed I could not provide you with the clear answer you wanted, Minoru. Ah man, that was more than enough. Enough? We still have no clue what's going on here. It's like saying we don't know anything, so anything's possible. What a load of crap. Don't listen to comments from the peanut gallery, Falcomon. If you say so, Minoru. And yet, what really happened? Huh. Sigh. Ah! Hey, 
Haru and the others are awake. Haru and the others. Everyone except those two is already out. So Haru, the one in front, and the others are awake. Why? Is it really that hard to write it correctly? Like, seriously? Ah! Look at that chicken. He's still scared of her. Come on now. He's still technically older. Yeah, technically? That's harsh, Takuma. Uh, what? I, whatever. Just, just shut up already. Oops, there he goes. Our and Miyuki might know something. Let's head back and decide what to do next. Is that okay with you, Falcomon? Yes, understood. I believe we should continue our talk inside the school building, wouldn't you say? Why? It's a nice day outside, it seems. But okay. Morning. Oh, good morning. Wait, why are we being so polite to, to little kids? Because it's never a mistake to be polite to people? Morning. Oh, good day, my lady. <laughs> Is that how you always talk to girls? I'll have you know I'm a gentleman. Uh, Miyuki, was it? Morning. Sorry for mistaking you for a ghost yesterday. No worries, didn't bother me. And Ryo? Oh, are you still scared? Guess those two still weird him out, huh? He screamed and fainted, so yeah. He did faint after all. He's not exactly hiding it. Look at him staring at them from over there. He's gonna be the one that if if the kids end up like staying with us for a, for a while, he will be the one who will rush in head first into danger to protect them. I'm I'm sure of it. Oh, good morning, you two. Did you get any sleep? Yeah, yeah. Here they go again. Are they on the same wavelength, or is she just parroting him? I see. Well, let us know if you need anything, okay? We've got to stick together. Thank you. We appreciate the sentiment. Sentiment. <laughs> ah, that's that's a big word for a girl your age, isn't it, Miyuki? I always always consider it, but I guess she has some trouble with people like this. Please don't worry about her. She's been like this for a while now. I see. She went through a terrifying ordeal. I was able to protect her, but ever since... Terrifying ordeal? I don't remember. Man, I don't know what happened. I must have left... But it must have left some deep scars on them. Poor thing. One wrong move and the same thing could have happened to us. If we hadn't met Agumon and the others, I shudder to think what would have happened. This was supposed to be just a fun camping trip. Why'd it have to turn out like this? Moving on. Is there anything else you wish to discuss? Let's see. Oh yeah, what's up with that fog outside? I told you, it's dangerous. You shouldn't get too close. Who knows what happens to those who breathe it in? Like they disappear without a trace. Oh, maybe we can make it back to our world if we go into that fog then? No, you can't. Just don't! You really shouldn't. They're right. Trying an arrow could lead to irreversible consequences. Indeed. I cannot say for certain, but my instincts speak to the potential threat. Well, it was the fog that made us pass out and got us lost in the first place. We've all experienced it. I don't know what it is, but it's definitely dangerous. Can we do something about the fog? Put that off for now, go right around it, stay away from it. Go right around it! Right, well, no matter where we go, we better avoid the fog. Sounds about right, but look, the entire school is surrounded by that stuff. It's pretty hard to tell when and where the fog will spread to next. So, where are we supposed to go? Wait, he has got a deeper voice. We ain't got a clue. True. We can't go anywhere the way things are going. We haven't even eaten since yesterday. Something edible would be good. Why don't we split up and search the school? We need to see if anyone else is here. We've met others like Miyuki who got stuck in here. It would be too surprising if there were others around somewhere too. Yeah, but shouldn't they, well, made themselves known after the ruckus yesterday? Well. True. And now that you mention it, where did you two come from? Uh... Over there? Over there. And where exactly is over there? Over there. Over there. I see. This is getting us nowhere. Maybe like brats are gonna be straight with you. Anyway, the girl acts like a baby. This is going too far, Ryo. 
They're an odd pair, but it looks like they're lost here, in here, same as us. Anyway, we still don't know whether or not anyone else is actually here. Considering how those of us who got lost ended up at the school, I bet Saki, Shuji and the professor are somewhere nearby. Nearby? You mean at the shrine? Yes, why don't we look there too? No, hold on. We still don't know if, it is, if this is another world, do we? Even if we assume it is, it would have to be connected to our world somehow, right? Otherwise, it would be weird to find a human building here. I think I get it. You're saying whatever boundary there is may be weaker somewhere. If that's true, it's possible that someone may come looking for us. I think it would be best to wait here for help instead of wandering around. I agree. Wow, Ryo's not arguing? Then in the meantime, we should find some kind of food. We can't rely on help showing up. Huh? You think Shuji and that egghead are out there? How do you plan on looking for them? There ain't nothing we can do but sit tight and wait it out. That won't help anything. You got any suggestions? Ain't like moving around will do us any good. You get wrapped up in all this this while doing without doing anything, right? So who knows, maybe th something will send us right back. Running around blind just puts us at a risk for no reason. But hey, it's your funeral. His attitude still needs some work, but I see his point. Nora and Aoi are only talking about possibilities, doesn't exactly help us. He speaks the truth, no point in searching if it puts us in danger for no reason. Still, sounds like he's totally given up. Aoi at least wants to look around a bit for food and supplies. Nora wants to go out and see if we can find anyone nearby. And Ryu thinks it's all pointless, so he wants to hold up here. Well then, what should I do? I mean, I am technically with Aoi and Minoru. And also Ryo. Like, yes, we should find food first. Look through the whole school for food and supply and maybe the immediate surroundings. Then we should see if we can find a way to the shrine. And if we find those others, or even if we don't, we come back here and stay inside if we find something to eat. It's pretty much that simple. We don't know how long we'll be in here. We'll need food and water, so look around. Yeah. Got to agree with Aoi on this one. And with Minoru. Thank you, Takuma. It's just Aoi's opinion, right? Takuma made the right decision. Hang on, Lapramon. I just thought Aoi was right too. Me too. Thanks anyway, Takuma. And thank you too, Agumon. So, we're searching the school then? I'll help. We need to find some food. Let me know if you find something, Takuma. So yeah, uh, searching for food if you haven't had anything since yesterday is the best idea. For now. Okay then. Hang said that, I wonder how we should go about this. Hmm, why don't we check out wherever you wanna go, Takuma? Sounds good to me, let's do it. Yeah, yeah? <laughs> what do we do? Let's check out where you wanna go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> This time, since this is the daytime, music room unlocked. Uh, oh? Woods by school unlocked. Oh, that's cool. <gasps> What's that? Free battle unlocked. Yes. Let's start by doing a free battle. With Betamon. Do we care too much about talking to them? I don't think so. Alright, uh, three, no, six available units, that's good. Oh, three on one side, three on the other. Let's put Agumon here. Let's put you here. Together with Labramon as support. Gotsumon, just to get levels. Yeah, select two more. It's a good thing that we are basically, we basically have a good team currently. Or maybe not a good team, but a full team. I mean, sooner or later we'll get more Digimon. But I don't think if I don't think there's really any need to basically. Uh, let's go here and turn over this way. Move here and turn that way. I don't know if Betamon can just shoot down from there. I mean, it might, might be able to. But I know that Agumon can absolutely shoot up there. Is that considered the side? No, it isn't. Oh, I can freely 
evolve. It just costs 5 SP every time. That's good to know. Move. Alright, can we shoot upwards here? One height, yes, that's still... That counts as one height, okay. And turn this direction. Alright, yeah, we, we kind of screwed that up. I was thinking that... Yeah, it has electric shock, I should have known, because I have a beta mon myself. I was thinking that it wouldn't be able to attack through the rock, so it would have to go around. But yeah, I mean, that was stupid of me. Yeah, okay. Uh, enter. Got someone, we'll move and do basically nothing. All right, let's move up here. Attack with a Scratch Smash. Assist, great. Labramon is next, Labramon will heal. Now, question is about Digivolution in general. Like, will the others... Will the others just learn or evolve in battle sometimes? Or will we have to have special events to do that? Assist, yay! Move up, attack from behind. Do we just evolve because we can? I feel like, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if there's like, I don't think that there's any negatives to it. I think it's just go attack or go digivolve and attack because you can. Back attack, that was a lot of damage, love that. And turn. I said it last time, I think, or last episode, that I should start talking to Digimon in order to actually gain some items or whatever. Maybe. Okay, we don't have enough. Nope. And turn. Who's up? Gotsumon. Not nearly close enough. And turn. Alright, move behind. Attack, and that should do it, right? Scratchy smash! And it's gone. Nice. Victory, everyone gains EXP, maybe a level. Yeah, did Godspawn just gain two levels? I think it did, from five to seven. That's awesome. Why is Labramon the one that's behind the levels? Everyone else is level 10, except for Godsmon, of course. With Betamon being the most, uh, the highest one, basically. Alright, we could go for another free battle against another Betamon, but I don't think so. Uh, let's start by going to the classroom. This is where we started, right? Damn, out of range, just, just like I thought. Could have called for help. Don't see any cell towers. Your phone? That's no good, no signal. Alright, I figured there might be a chance, given the message I got. What? You got a message? I mean, but it's a bunch of gibberish. And I'm out of range, so I can't send Jack. Damn it, what are we supposed to do here? What's he talking about? Got a message on his phone, but it's indecipherable. It's just a bit frustrated. Wow, show me! It's not for you, Agumon. It'll break if you toss it around. Hang on, my phone hasn't lost power. What? You're right. You're still at full charge, too. Good job noticing that the power levels haven't changed. Of course I was trying to call for help. I feel much calmer than all of you. Uh-huh. Who has been using his phone the whole time? Who are you calling? Who are, who are you calling? What? Does it matter? Fine, I'll try calling too. Oh, it's my parents. They usually answer if I call around this time. Oh. We can't call the professor. What'll happen to us? Why aren't we getting a signal here? Alright. Uh, let's go to school corridor. 
Where would there be food? In the kitchen, probably? What? Did you hear that? Did you hear that, Aoi? It did. I did. It sounded like someone was turning off a water faucet. Oh, it's you guys. What are you doing here? Haru, is that you? It's Haru! Haru, did you just use the water faucet over there? Yes. Why, shouldn't I? Is there water? What? It comes out like it always does. Which means we have plumbing? That was easy. We have water all of a sudden. I mean, have you really not tried that? I get it. Old school building rundown and there is the highest possibility that there is no plumbing anymore. But still, have you not tried it? Try to be happy here. Well, we met one of our goals, so let's be happy about that for now. Okay, sure. Drinking water is important. It's amazing that the water even works. It's all good. We needed this lifeline. Maybe that means there's something we can use inside this building. Anyway, let's keep looking. Okay, so Haru and his sister have been here for quite a while. Have we ever asked them, Hey, um, what do you guys live on? How do you guys survive? Have you eaten anything in the past whatever years you've been here or days or months? It's a power situation. It's getting a little dark in here. The power? There are lights on the ceiling, right? Those things up there? They look broken to me. I see. Well, you wouldn't expect there to be power in this wreck of a school. If we need light, we can use the flashlights in our cell phones. I mean, yeah, if they don't lose any power, then you can infinitely leave on the flashlight. Woods by the school. Let's see. Hey, Takuma! Minoru, what's wrong? Check this out! Look at all this food! Found a lot of edible plants, fruits and nuts around here. Minoru is showing his skills. Oh! Let's start with... That's amazing. Just, he found something great. We don't need to be like, yeah, but what about other things? That's amazing, Minoru. Great job! Yeah, it was a piece of cake. Were you looking for more peeps? We found some food by chance at first, before focusing our efforts on finding more. You idiot, don't tell them. We can concentrate on finding people now. Let's keep looking around here. Alright. So, we basically did everything we wanted to do. Um, it's about close to 30 minutes. I gotta do somewhere between 30 and 40 minutes, I think. So let's do one more free battle. Uh, you know what? No. Agumon up here again. You up here, you up here, and the others on the other side. I don't know if that's such a good idea, but let's do it. Doesn't really matter. Again, I could... I could get Gilmon and some items. But I don't really feel like it. Now... You know what? Oh, wrong. I wanted to use the talk ability on Falcomon and not Agumon, but whatever. Let's go around here. And turn in this direction. Move here. And turn this direction. Agumon up here. We're gonna straight up Digivolve. I would say, right? Also, it's interesting that they haven't used the word Digimon even once, right? And also not Digivolve, it's Evolution. Interesting. And turn in this direction. Kunamon. Yeah, Kunamon really, really slow, but hey. As soon as it, as it digivolves, it might be better. <laughs> if it at one point digivolves. Like, I would, I'm really curious what it takes for them to digivolve. Like, of course, with Agumon, it's our main ga guy, it's main character's partner. So, that had some story driven digivolution. But the others? Like, is it just level? Is it specific enemies? Is it specific attacks? I don't know. 
curious. I'm very curious. Alright, can't do shit around here. Oh, okay, I still got the talk option. But, of course, I cannot talk to the others here. Let's attack with fire breath on this guy. And the rest should technically be able to just deal with the rest. Labramon, attack. Boom. Nice. Uh, Kunamon will be able to attack from here, right? Yeah. And that should do the trick. Because Kunamon is surprisingly strong. <coughs> Victory. Nice. Those are some level ups. Crisp apple. Oh yeah, I wanted to look through the items, see what we can do, how we can do it. Classroom will be the next thing, don't don't worry. But I want to check out. Okay, self pack, slider restores HP of those in range. Oh wait, oh well, that's awesome. So the bandage is healing for one single Digimon, it has a range of four, but an area of only one. While the self pack actually has a range of four and an area of three, so you can heal many people at once. Cures all target status abnormal abnormal abnormalities Norm abnormalities. Now I got it. I'm sorry. <laughs> what kind of seed is this? Is it even ethical? I think I'll pass. Enhancement: Potence potency crystal, and this is stamina crystal. Max HP plus one. Heavier than it looks. Um. Can we just give this for, to someone in here? No, we cannot. Because I think we're gonna equip this to Falcomon. Because it keeps getting hit quite bad. That was physical defense and special defense 1 rank. So used in battle probably. I mean, it's called skill, but I guess... Yeah, it's, it's a skill. Oh wait, I gotta check something out later. Slightly boosts target's EXP. For some reason, those guys seem to get stronger when we give them the stone. Raises target's physical defense. Looks kind of metallic to me. Teeth like mine couldn't put a dent in it. Alright, um... Oh, I think I understand now. So, there's equipment. We can... Oh, okay, that is actually a skill that you learn if you equip it. That's cool. Um... Stamina crystal. Wait, I'm sorry. That's plus 500. Holy shit. And this one. Okay, training. So these things just permanently raise stuff. Oh wow, Falcomon has only one. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome! Level 8, level 8, level 8. We are level 8, so... It seems like we can already Digivolve. Here too. Oh, what are you? Tuskmon. Oh, that's cool. Deltamon. The only one here I know is Cedramon. Oh, that's interesting. Well, anyway, training. I... Really? Even with the growth zone... It would still be back. Uh, <laughs> it would still be way weaker than the rest. How about we increase Falcomon's physical defense? Just, I really like Falcomon. Uh, so everyone's level 10 close to level 11, except for Betamon. Do you have any passive skill that makes you level up faster. No, doesn't seem like it. Oh, insufficient items. Okay. Seems like we just need a specific item. Did you illusion item? Interesting. Well, 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 anyway. Uh let's 
Let's save. Then we're gonna go in and talk in the classroom. Okay, so we need specific items, but it seems like in every evolution it's said that we're missing the same item. Seems to be some edible food. It all looks so good. You're drooling, Agamon. That's disgusting. And yet you're drooling too, Labramon. Don't go eating eating any of that, you two. By the way, I can hear animal sounds from somewhere deeper in the forest. So we need to be careful searching for food too far from here. That's scary. We've got water and some food. If there are any spices and a grill in the cafeteria, we've got the minimum we'll need to survive. Digimon survive? Haha! <laughs> But will this really be enough? Should be okay for now. Worried about others. What is this place? You gotta say I'm worried about the others. I'm worried about the others. Saki, Shuji, Kaito, Miu, the professor. Oh yeah, Miyuki was the little girl here. Miu was the other one. You're right. We've made it this far. And I think they'll be looking for this place too. Aoi's friends are going to be fine. Where are all the adults? We didn't go that far. They've got to be around here somewhere. You're right, we woke up here, but maybe the others are just lost out there too. We found our way back to the school. We should look around a bit longer for now. Free action! Yay! Yeah, I think... Are there any new free battles? Is the question. Old school unlocked. Interesting. As you play the game, you will be presented with situations where you have some downtime. These are opportunities to check in with your friends, chat, and increase your affinities. You have a limited number of actions in this mode, so you won't be able to visit everyone. Your actions are shown in the upper right when the number on the left reaches zero, time's up. Use the face icon to help decide where to go. Take, talking to people after moving takes an action. Also, locations marked with uh, the hourglass take an action just to move to. Your affinities influence battle backup actions in battle and play a large role in evolution. So it's important to think about who you want to get closer to when planning out your actions. Okay, so... Free battle, of course, will use a move. These don't seem to do anything for us. Here, moving doesn't... shouldn't take any... Let's, let's try it. Let's go here. We should still have seven moves and now we're talking to him. That will be a move. And I want to increase my relation to this guy because I like Kunemon. Oh, hey, there's Ryu. Should I say something to him? Oh, awesome. So I could still be like, nope, I don't want to talk to him and still have all my seven moves. But yeah, I want to talk to him. That's that's a cool system. That's easy to understand. Oh, it's Ryu. Anyone in the classroom again? Alone in the classroom again? Ah, whoops. Guess he's not alone. Man, everyone is here out of their freaking minds. That includes you, Kunemon. But... <laughs> Shit, say something already, why don't you? Um, meow! The heck, S since when have you been spying on me, Takuma? Who was spying? Uh, you know, Kunemon can talk, right? The heck? Man, this freaking place. I keep getting stuck with the short end of the stick. Kunemon's not the short end of the stick? Kunemon is awesome. I've got a mouth on you, Takuma. You too, lizard breath. I didn't mean... I'm not a lizard, I'm Agumon. Shut up already. I don't know what the heck anyone's saying anymore. All of you are freaking nuts. Um, That includes you. Are you messed in the head like Minoru? Or just an escapist like Aoi? Well, I I have to agree that Minoru's got a screw or two loose. Right? Something's not right with that kid. As for Aoi, she still seems to think someone's gonna come rescue us. Can't say I share her optimism. Wait, seriously? Almost sounds like you're picking up what I'm putting down. Ryu's a realist. That must make everything we've seen that much harder to swallow. Can't say I like the guy, but he makes some decent points. Heck's gonna happen to us. Uh, I mean, let's stay positive would be something that I say. Might be hopeless would be something that he says, but I, I think, guess we'll see. This might not be much of an answer, but guess we'll see. Whatever will be, will be, as they say. First off, we don't even know what's going on right in front of us. You're right, that ain't much by the way of an answer. Still, you've got a point. Guess I'm the idiot for asking in the first place. Yeesh. Ah, I wish this bug thing could at least say something. You know what's not a bug thing? Shut your freaking trap, iguana face! My face is not an iguana! Come on, leave him alone, Agumon. 
Well, uh, later. I think might be hopeless would be the one thing that would make him, like, be happier, <laughs> basically. Well, anyway, that will do it for today. I think I might just do one or two free battles in between, just so that we have a little bit of a buffer. And uh, technically we are done with Monday through Friday episodes. If I got time tomorrow before I take my leave, I'll definitely want to uh, record two more episodes so that we'll have a full week of just Digimon contact, the content. Um, but I can't promise anything. I will try, but we'll see how I'm, how I'm at <laughs> tomorrow, where I'm at, and how long I'll have time. But trust me, I will keep playing and recording this game because I think it's amazing. But after this week, it won't be as much. It will be just like once, twice a week, something like that. But yeah, we'll see. Thank you nerds so much for watching. I'm the Renegade Cactus and I gotta run. Bye bye.